A statue symbolizing Japan's wartime sex slavery victims continues to be a source of friction between Seoul and Tokyo. Japan claims its removal was part of a landmark deal meant to settle the issue, but Korea says the statue is going nowhere. Gwon Jang-ho reports. Korea's foreign minister once again spelled out that the removal of the statue symbolizing the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul was not part of the deal that was reached last December between the two countries. The details of the December 28th agreement is what was announced by both nations' foreign ministers on that day, no more, no less. It is not open to anyone's subjective interpretation. This was the response to a statement made by Japan's Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary, Koichi Hagiuda, on Wednesday, who said removing the statue was part of the deal. He claimed that the deal was to settle the issue once and for all, and that included the removal of the statue. But the Korean government has repeatedly stated that the statue has nothing to do with either government, as it was installed by private organizations. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the San Francisco Board of Education passed a resolution that supports the teaching of Japan's wartime sexual slavery in California high schools. The proposed curriculum for Grade 10 World History described the issue as an example of institutionalized sexual slavery and one of the largest cases of human trafficking in the 20th century. A final decision to include the topic is set to be made in May after assessing further public opinion. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.